Hi guys. We are living water. Na hii ni hasoli yetu mtani. I believe with our previous brand there was the plan was not very clear. So what helped us in 2018, 2018. yeah we did an accelerator prog- we joined an, an accelerator program and this really just even the vibe of just being with fellow entrepreneurs and just seeing problems in you, they are the same everyone it's people process product yeah as long as you figure those three out you okay but if you haven't figured out people even if you have the two it won't work so for us guys our biggest f- f- flaws process yeah we've been very blessed we've, we've had people who worked for us for seven years We've been lucky with getting em- employees but the process bit I think the documentation of things the um, um agreeing this is how things you have to this is this is the flow that things go with we didn't have that so as a result I think we are sort of still haphazard mm. so I mean that that uh, accelerator was was timely to say the least So we were able to at least understand why the process is critical and we were able to figure that out and once we did I think it's it's not it's not good it's not easy yeah. but it's much better you can see there's there's a plan there's some excitement you wake up knowing this is where we are going this is what we are doing for this reason the, the sacrifice makes more sense you start to hire right you know as guys are scared of nini hey, if i had this guy how much will he ask for i mean sadly to say i think for me we did interviews recently eh? and there are so many well educated guys without jobs and they are willing to take to see if nili sana but they are willing to take anything yeah mm-hmm. but that was heartbreaking for me that was heartbreaking for me because we in a place where even this government that is supposed to support us youth fund when we try to get youth fund we are told we have to be 15 have a common interest i mean it's ridiculous surely why are you getting 15 people who you can get along with even five was a problem uh the game has changed so to speak so you should change the game so just like have a different mentality of of, of growth and just be hungry pretty much like step up your game step up your skill if i, I say up skill and uh while I was doing that I learned something which is uh, learn and learn and relearn because the game changes dynamic changes you can't what worked in 2008 then work in 2018 then work now in 2020 obviously the covid and the so called new normal so yeah I'll say just be innovative be hungry and just be absorb and let go what you don't need to let go yeah mine would be which is something i still struggle with now and i'd say it's vulnerability the fact that we can even sit here and talk about you know the things that have gone wrong you know and tell other people it's 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 hard it's hard for any human being to be vulnerable to other people but what you realize is that in your vulnerability that's when you learn and that's when you grow the most eh? because as you're talking about this 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 issue that's stressing you as koi said when you sit with other entrepreneurs you find out that the issues are the same so i might i might sit here and talk to tony and tell him eh hey, today i don't know uh, this and this maybe i don't know how i don't know how i'm going to afford to pay my my employees because cash flow has been crazy tony will sit with me and tell me you know what you know even me last month uh, i was going through the same thing and what i did imagine i just sat with my guys i talked to them and they gave me time they gave me grace And you see from that conversation I've learned something that I can actually go and talk to my guys. You know, and as I talk about whatever issue that you know we are going through whatever hardships that we are going through I'm also um empowering someone else. So I feel like we need to be more vulnerable with each other and we need to have more honest conversations. That's the only way we grow. Mm-hmm.
even look for mentors, look for people who've done it before. Mentorship is a real issue in this country because I feel that the people who have figured it out or people who are doing better than others are really not trying to pass that information down. So that's something we need to work on as enter as just as human beings, as entrepreneurs, we need to we need to teach others, you know, we need to teach others to hunt. That's the only way we all we all gain. So mentorship, um, networking with your peers, and even teaching. They say teaching is how you, you learn, right? Mm. So the more you talk about this thing, the more you teach, the more you pass on, the more you also learn. So yeah, I'd, I'd say that that for me is, uh, is what is vulnerability. Hey, we, women in <laughs> entrepreneurship, manufacturing. <laughs> hey, I think people think anyway. Um, for us, it's it was challenging. I remember <laughs> there's once we went and you you know they say all the deals are made during the bar. So you try and go meet a man to try and talk about business, he won't listen to you. They they, they undermine you. There's it's it it's been challenging and um, surprisingly women have also real women have really helped us in our business and you're not taken seriously as a as a girl you're not taken as a woman you're not taken seriously by the men they just they kind of think it's a hobby it will pass remember this once <laughs> i gave someone my card and they told me daddy's business where i lost my mind <laughs> at who <laughs> that father of mine doesn't know how we started this business what do you mean daddy's business so i mean it's been challenging it's been challenging overcoming some of these things and yes, like you won't say, women, we need to support each other. Being taken seriously as a woman in business, let alone a woman in manufacturing, is, is a near impossibility. And, you know, especially like in our, in our industry, in the water industry, we, we didn't even have sanctions, we didn't have rules. And I'm proud to say, I'm proud to say that um, over the last, it's been two years now, we, we, we and you know some of our peers in the water industry came up with the water bottlers uh, association yeah that's 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 supposed to look out for you know the, you know they're the big dogs in the industry and then there's the rest of us so at least with a body like that uh, we can we, we, we have a voice together we have a voice and you know in that quest of being you know uh, relevant relevant in the industry, I'm proud to say that Wangoe here is our co, she's our chair, vice chair, vice chair for the bottler, water bottlers society of Kenya, or bot, water bottlers society of Kenya, and you know we are making moves. It starts with you. You know this change, be the change that you want to see, mm. right? So we are we are taking this industry by the storm. Whether you take us seriously or not, we are coming. Yeah. And you're buying our water. And this is my serious face. <laughs> <laughs>